This video is about making crystal batteries, crystal power cells, using bioplastics. I've made two different types. I've got one hooked up here that's running this oscillator. This one is the IB Pointless mix. It's a stovetop mix, but I did not use alum in this mix. The only thing that's in this is borax, Epsom salt, and salt substitute. This cell still has not completely dried out, but as it's drying out it's shrinking, and, and I think that's a good thing. See if, uh, if the shrinking of the material helps us at all. These cells are over three days old right now, and uh, they'll, they'll run about one and a quarter volts. I've got another cell here that uh, is a mix that uh, Plingo posted. And this one has carbon powder, silica sand, alum, and sodium silicate. I've hooked, uh, I've hooked Plingo's cell up to this oscillator and you can see it's it's doing quite well. These these measure out uh, right at a volt and a half, about 1.47, 1.48 volts. It's uh, it's an excellent mix. I hadn't I hadn't tried one like this before and I'm I'm very happy with it. Both cells look like they're doing very good. Whether this will be uh, as good or not as good, time will tell. But right now I'm real happy with these. The uh, YouTube channel is Green Plastics Net, and the name of the video is Make Your Own Bioplastics. This cell sitting right beside these is my original stovetop cell. That's been running since September the 17th of last year. So these, these have uh, some proving to do if they're going to do better than that one. Thank you. Thank you for watching.